Welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We're finally going to make our way to the XS Express this time, but uh, first uh, we got an email at the end of the last episode. I wonder what that's about. Boo? Are you Mario did this email, and did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email. But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you. Yes, thanks, here it is. There's still lots of treasure and creepy steeple! Of course, knowing you, you probably already found it all. Ugh, I'm so useless. There's still <laughs> treasure there. Aww. And God, we gotta go back to creepy steeple. Oh, man. Aww. Like, I, I gotta spend, like, three episodes just backtracking, getting everything we missed. Hey, maybe we can get that uh, mini-boss that we missed. Dare something. Anyway, show our ticket and hop aboard the XS Express. All aboard for what? What is it? Poshley Heights. Place made of solid gold. Now, not to fear. This is gonna be a smooth, easy ride. Yeah, you're not convincing at all. Welcome to the Molentary Express. This just makes me want to play Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box again. And as we board the train, we make our way headlong into Chapter 6. Which is... Three days of excess. Three days on this train, huh? Yep, it's a three-day trek. Huh. I mean, it took a it took a few days to get to Keel Hall Key, so we, we've been at this journey for, god, months. Get our own cabin, too. Awesome. Hmm, yes, rather posh. Look how everything's made of gold. Oh, fancy, fancy. Mm -hmm. I swear, if leeches start attaching to the to the window, I quit. He changes his accent from, like, a pirate accent to, you know, a very posh oh, British yes. accent. Oh, oh, yes. Ahoy, Mario. Welcome aboard my <laughs> ship. Oh. Look out for Don't zombies. Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Mmm, sticky, huh? yummy. Alright, so... Maybe it's not going to be as peaceful as I may have let on. I'm sorry to fool you all. But... Oh, I can imagine Mario getting, like, a wad of gum stuck to him and he's wrapped up and thrown away. Well, just because I feel like, uh, we're going to get some new enemies at some point. Let's bring out Goombella, just That's for tattling's sake, but no. this will be a good chance to check out the train we're on. You missed a shine sprite. I, I know, we'll, we'll get it. Okay, I good. literally just <laughs> saw that later, but... But when will we get it? That's a mystery. <laughs> Just like the train! So, is that all hair underneath that toad's cap? And it's just like, puncturing out the sides? Well, she speaks like that in a swoony text there. Oh my god, it's making me sick. Must seasick. have just punctured her brain or something. Ah, hair! Chef Shimi. Because he's a fish. So he cuts up his own kind? <laughs> he speaks in cheap cheap. It's perfect. I think it's a very insensitive depiction of a cheap cheap. Very, uh, common stereotype, really. Ho ho ho, cheap cheap. Well, I got the shop here. Very nice. Oh, got? that was a cool transition. Tasty tonic, uh, poison, uh, mystery. Let's <laughs> let's let's get a mystery. Why not? T tasty tonic, aka poison. <laughs> and a super shroom for good measure. And we can't have that. Yeah, whatever. Let's let's sell some stuff. Clear out some of our in inventory a little bit. We could do this Wait. the whole time. Yeah. Oh. Get rid of the coconut. It only sells for four coins. It actually sells better than the mystery. And the Mr. Softener, maybe? Yeah, Mr. Softener. There! Okay, I need to wonder, how tough are the enemies on a train? Well, you see, the enemies on this looks... train aren't, aren't exactly the ones, the ones that you fight. They're the ones that are about the plot itself. Mm. <gasps> oh, look at the little penguin! 
This little magnifying glass. Hmm. And, and actually, wasn't there a Mario Party board based on a train? Yeah, I'm sure there were a couple. A lot of uh. rich, bougie people on this train. Oh, yes, I remember these bombs. Oh, it's Bub's birthday. It's the birthday, Bub. Hey, happy birthday, Bub. Yeah, I knew I recognized these bombs. So we fit in among the elite because we're a top-tier celebrity. I we're just like thought... Floyd Mayweather, kind of. So we rule the MMA circuit. <laughs> the, the, the glitz pit. So does that mean we get to beat up Logan Paul? <laughs> just jump on his head and hit him with the hammer. <laughs> oh, oh, God. We did it. Oh. We've uh, saved YouTube. Jesus. Oh. Well, uh, if I have one complaint about this chapter, it's that we're on a train, and a train is... It's very dull to get around all the time, because we have to keep going back and forth and back and forth all the time. Hey, what's going on? Time to spice it up! <gasps> mm. Somebody stealing! Somebody stole the soup for tonight! And oh look, no! A trail. I think I might know who it might be. Hmm. A soup it's trail. It's a clue, my dear Nisku. Ah, here. Let me put down my monocle so we can figure out this mystery. I've been in here yet. Who's in here? Uh, let's see. Convict huh. Billy Cohen. Gotcha. Aha! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at this chubbo boy! <laughs> well, hello there! You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train, and now I finally got the ticket! Dreams do come true! <laughs> well, gee, I wonder what happened to the soup now. <laughs> hello there! What soup? <laughs> Don't ask me about soup! I'm in a fish of grown mind! So here's the problem of, uh, having a galaxy brain like myself. You see, they talk about the soup being gone, I see a trail of soup on the floor, and then I think, Ah! Yes! That must mean that this person here must have eaten the soup. I will look around his cabin to find the soup that he has stolen. I am such a smarty smart. But the game is like, oh no, no, you are not a smarty smart. You have to go back to the detective and say, hey, I found the guy who stole the soup, and then he's going to be like, my god, there's a mystery we have to solve who stole the soup. Goodbye. So really, I jumped the gun. See, the ultimate twist is if they planted it in your room, so that way Mario's the soup thief. Oh god, no. A pox on Mario! Toss him off the train! <laughs> yeah, I've already mm, solved it, dude! It's okay! Smells like cream of mushroom. <laughs> it's not very mysterious! Such a long title. Big large Marge came in and decided, hey, there's soup here, I'm gonna eat all of it, and then I'm gonna just spill half of it on the way back to my house, or my cabin. My name's Toad Bigsley. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> According to my deductions, I believe... Oh, your name is Pennington? Pennington. I love it. This Niskel is sometimes called the Agatha Christie chapter. Oh, cool. Are we going to have a murder For... on the train? Oh, we're going to have mysteries afoot here. <laughs> so I actually have heard of this just like in topic. Like I heard the comparison Agatha Christie chapter, but never anything past that. So anything can happen. We're on a train. There's mysteries. We're solving shit. 
and falsely accusing day. people. Yeah. So really, you weren't far off earlier with the Professor Layton comparison. Yes! Except we need to have more whimsical, mysterious, you know, ethereal music playing in the background. <laughs> ah, the missing soup reminds me of a puzzle. If you have five carrots, and then Zack eats three, but then Sally adds five, and then Billy says, Ha ha! Now there's two more than when they started! How many did you start to begin with? Seventy uh, pickerats, go! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, five. five! No, you failed! Now no! you can't get the bonus shit! Damn it! I need all the pickerats! Okay, am I the only one who saved every time I went to a new screen just in case a new puzzle showed up? Just so I could get max Picarats. Am I the only one who used the walkthrough on Block Spot? Aw, oh, come on. Do it naturally. Like that chicken and wolf puzzle, I did that all on my own. So have you played uh, Catrio Layton? No, I. it's in the backlog. <laughs> the puzzles stink. <laughs> <laughs> they stink. Aw, oh, man. I mean, I mean, there, there's there's several good ones, but there's too many ha ha gotcha ones. Oh, great! So yeah, it's I... not really so much bending your brain so much. It's it's just you know, ha! He didn't read it hard enough, so no, it's a ha gotcha. I don't know it's what. Re it's really obnoxious sometimes. I, I don't know what happened to me in just wanting to play through those games. Like, for some reason, I stopped after um, after the first prequel one. And then when it got to the Miracle Mask and Azran Legacy, I never went back to them. I never so. played the Azran Legacy. That's the only one I haven't played. Oh, but that's the finale. I played everything else, though. I've seen the movie. I played uh, the one with Alphonse Layton. <laughs> I played the entirety of Catriel. Anyway, now that we know that it's a mystery afoot, we check in here, and there's a several gourmet magazines, one dedicated to the ones on the train. Do you like so pin up the food? We gotta talk to him first, and then we gotta accuse him. <laughs> okay. I'm just imagining it's... this is the guy that adds to the Reddit of, uh, <laughs> strong-arming food. Have you seen those? What? <laughs> it's, it's pictures of people who show, like, really awesome, amazing food, and then the next picture they show is them, like, crushing it in their bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of a perfectly cooked steak, and then and the next picture is just a guy that's just like death gripping it in the next one, and it's devoted to that. It's hilarious. Well, hey, we got we we finally found the pot, but I'll tell you what that Reddit is. Those are expensive jokes. <laughs> yeah, they are. But it's so worth it. It's just like, do, do, do you really want to spend twenty dollars on a beautiful steak? Just to, I mean, it's, oh, ha, ha ha! That's funny. Now you're out of a steak. <laughs> eh, let's just I mean, I mean, uh, unless you enjoy like eating it out of your clenched fist. You must have money to spare then, or you had a backup steak. You call over your waitress. Hey, um, I'm doing a bit. Can you bring me an extra steak? Puts the Pro bang and muck bang, you know what I'm saying? Oh, stop it. One of the worst <laughs> trends <laughs> ever. <sighs> Terrible. Bang it to muck, you know? <laughs> Guys, yeah. it's like yeah. the, a worse version of ASMR. <laughs> I like muck bang. Anyway, that solves the mystery of who stole the pot. All right, one down. Now we can get back to the game. Got our, uh, 30 Picarats. We did it. <gasps> oh, you! I remember hey. you! No, the... you're spectacular, my darling. <laughs> then Keanu Reeves comes out. <laughs> oh, shit, you're dating Keanu Reeves? Sweet! Dude! Whoa! You're amazing! Well, Aww. actually, here's our Keanu Reeves, kind of. <laughs> Can't wait for the Matrix 4, bro. And 5, and 6, and let's face it, 7, 8, and 9. You know, oh right? Oh, God. More, more unneeded sequels. It's turning into Star Wars. 
Then you get a spin-off called The Matrix Lorian. <laughs> and everybody likes that better than the movies. So, uh, uh, uh now for the case of what the little brat wants for his birthday. Uh, uh, does he want bobbery? Here you go, here's a bomb you can play with. Do I know? Put me down! Let go! I wish we could offer, like, playtime with one of your, with one of your mates here. It's just like, oh, Yoshi's a good boy. Here you go, play with Yoshi for, like, three hours. Oh, that'd be an awful RPG if your party members were, like, quest items. <laughs> You lift them above your head. Here! Look what I got! It's like, but I really need that gem to open the way forward. Hmm, what if I trade you my childhood friend? Wait, wait! What are you what? doing? What? What are you doing? Hachiki-kun, wait! No! Bye, that my yashi -kun. Don't worry, you were just an object to me anyway. And then you can buy her back for 30,000 <laughs> points. <laughs> wait! <laughs> I, I think there's actually a, not an Easter egg, but like a glitch you can do in Sticker Star, where you can actually sell your companion for like 30 coins. And it gave us a star piece, that's lovely. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess solving a case is only worth one star piece, so the rest of y'all ain't getting nothing. So, hey, mystery guy. Hmm, another case is afoot. Or, for me, a flipper. So that did nothing to further the plot. That was just, you know, a, a diversion to get us introduced to this... Oh, God. This, this fucking Yokan. Come on. Joking shit and bullshit. Detective. Come on. I don't think I like him too much. Get to the murder already. I can, I can imagine Pennington would like to read, like, mystery novels and horror novels on the way. As he, his favorite quote is, Quoth Raphael Raven, nevermore! Nah, he reads Encyclopedia Brown novels and spends <laughs> all day figuring out one case and feels smart about it. I solved it! I mean, he's, I mean, he's a guy who looks at the M on our hat and thinks, Ah, yes, Luigi, of course! <laughs> The world-famous plumber! Luigi! He's really bad at this. Maybe the only, like, deductions he's ever figured out is the finale of Bailey School Kids. So at first I thought the capture fucked up. Like, ah, what happened? Oh, yeah. no, wait, it's oh, evening. It's, oh it's evening. God. Okay. That's because, what I thought, too. Because time passes due to context. That's a, that's a problem with this chapter. Uh, the detective, okay. you know, is supposed to be, ha ha, he's an idiot, he doesn't know what he's talking about, what a dummy dumb, ha ha. But the problem is, the context of how the chapter progresses revolves around him, so you can't progress further until you tell this guy, hey, idiot, this way. And that kind of takes the fun out of it. But, now we can finally move on to the case of what this little guy wants for his birthday party. His parents are arguing, as always, because the dad wants to get him something practical, and mom wants to... Get him something fun. Get him, you know, it's, it's like Goku versus Chi Chi. If Goku was like a capitalist, it's like, he needs to be the strongest CEO ever. It's like, no, he needs to get smart first. I can't just imagine Goku in a suit trying to convince Chi Chi. He needs to be, ex he needs to train extra to become a great CEO. But I want him to have a fulfilling job, not one where he wishes he were dead in five years. So it starts with an A. Uh, a Yoshi. And it start. It's an autograph. Uh, autograph. How about a Yoshi autograph? Then again, Yoshi probably can't even spell his name. Probably forgets the accents you added to it. Yeah, the that that is the uh, ancient Yoshi name, actually. Yoshi. But because the dumb dinosaurs were too stupid to remember all those accents, they just shortened it to Yoshi. <laughs> I can actually imagine our archaeologist mistook, like, 
like just scratches in the wall as accents. And then one guy came in and just ruined their entire investigative career. <laughs> She is so dreamlike. R reminds me of like a Phoenix Wright character. You know, the ditzy ones. It means that she's got a dark secret. She just talks like so long and it's just so interesting to continue the conversation and then you just fall asleep. So we got a couple of, uh, quote-unquote side quests for a couple of characters here. Mm hmm Ruggedly smart. Hmm. Well, we do have a mustache. What if Mario grew a beard? Yeah. But we gotta oh. find this lady's gold ring, and we gotta find the waitress's earrings. Okay, so we have a... A jewelry snatcher. Somebody's stealing shit on this train. So here's the guy who the kid really wants the autograph from, but again, I have a galaxy brain. And he's not going to sign it for me unless I get the proper context. Really? Yeah. Is his name a conductor, or...? This is a game for children. I am far too smart for the for their games, and I've already played this before, so I play it to feel superior. <laughs> I actually mentioned that in uh, New Super Mario Brothers 2. I was like, "Hey, does anybody else play Mario games to feel superior that they can take care of a children's game?" And it was a resounding, "Yeah, but don't tell anybody." It's like, why play Overwatch when I can get shot and lose all the time, when I can just play Dora and win all the time? Reminds me of an old CD-ROM Blues Clues game that I completely, like... Like, I became rich in that game. It was all about collecting blue dollars, and somehow I gamed the system and got, like, 3,000 blue dollars, and all I needed to beat the game was 10, but I was like, nah! I understand these mini games. Let's hustle the system. Level 75 on Call of Duty? Huh. Please. Please. I win Freddy Fish all the time. I've never lost once. Freddy Fish is my bitch. Understand. Please. I even top the leaderboards and Putt Putt goes to the circus. <laughs> Math Blaster? No way. No competition. I am number one in Math Blaster. Dude, we need to bring Math Blaster to eSports. <laughs> shoot the can! Shoot the can! It's seven! God, Just I can actually see that. <laughs> the, 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 the hyper consumerism of eSports brought to Math Blaster. It's like, we Holy now have shit. team... We've got Team Shade or whatever on the on the fourth level. He's got a few more. Oh, and he took a hit right there. That's gonna really cost him some time. But we need to make sure that they get the correct map. And it seems they've forgotten what two minus two equals. But that's all right. They're making a good recovery. <laughs> Man, you know, I'm doing so good in Paw Patrol, Mighty Pup Save Adventure Bay. And he's, he did it! He saved Spot! They've taken the lead! <laughs> now I'm just looking through my backlog to see if I do have any, like, children's games, and I don't think I do. Gotta run Math Blaster at, like, 144 frames per second. <laughs> Can I play Math Blaster on the Xbox Series X? Please tell me this. Run that sucker at 4K. 4K, 8K, 16K. Got to make oh, sure I get every God. single pixel to have as much of an advantage as I can. I'm running 300 frames per second, I, motherfucker. I'm just seeing. I could just see in my mind Phil Spencer goes on stage. He's like, <laughs> Xbox Series X is the most powerful system, running at 120 frames per second at 4K resolution. You can finally play Math Blaster like esports intended. Sony is proud to announce. That Math Blaster is a PlayStation exclusive for five months. For <laughs> we have just found out that Microsoft has bought Math Blaster. 
So it is still a timed exclusive on PS5, but they own it now. Hmm. And so it is through this strange phenomenon that we finally get a remake of Donkey Kong Jr. Math. <laughs> it's about damn time. It's about damn time. God, I have so many things to say about that merger, but I'll save that for another time. <laughs> or, sorry, that buyout, not a merger. It's being framed as a merger, but really, somebody's got deep pockets. God damn, like, I'm just realizing how many games are now Microsoft IPs. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. Well, good, because now we've got the autograph from the engineer like he wanted. Here you go, buddy. Haha, <laughs> buddy. See, I'm a good detective. It's it's good to help somebody. And what's it give us? A shine Ooh, sprite! That's wow, actually... that's way better than a star piece! Yeah, wow, thanks. You know, you're alright, kid. Oh, I like nice. this. Yeah. I like this. This means it's almost time to go to bed. You know, if these uh, rewards are actually scaling, the next thing it's going to give us is like the god hammer. So, <gasps> somebody is a stowaway on this train. Hmm. It's Miss Mouse. I knew she was the one stealing jewelry. Count me Blanket P.I. I will uncover this mystery. It's a quilt of injustice, and I'm going to unravel it at the seams. Just think if Mario was like a real downer, then he'd be Wet Blanket P.I. <laughs> Sometimes he just removes words from his sentences. I am going to... This mystery! So he, he's, uh, he put blanks in, he, blank it, P.I. Yeah, well. <sighs> I'm a detective that does everything. You know, it's a blanket statement. He's Michael Jackson's son. There's something in the next room that's really spooky scary. Well, let's see what it could be. Spooky scary, there's no food. Uh, is there like hmm. a... Oh, wait. It's a ghost! Oh my god. I thought we'd have to blow something out of the way and finally give Flurry something to do. Shaky text. Well, this ghost isn't our yummy, sticky threat letter writer. <laughs> October, <laughs> October 4th. Sticky. Tasty. Ah! <laughs> what? <clears throat> I'm not vengeful. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just kind of tied to this cabin. So there's a diary in there. Wow. I mean, it's not murder, but somebody did die on this train. <laughs> but don't read his diary. <laughs> if you do... Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't oh. Anyway! Now we gotta go all the way back to the other edge of the train. Okay. To go back into the storage cabin to go find a long lost diary from a guy who died on this cabin, which nobody seemed to mention. That's, that's a little concerning. Well, it's a conspiracy, all for the greater good. Oh, people die here all the time if they're too poor. You've spent your last cent. Now die. If they can't pay for the hourly champagne wines, well, we'll just kill them right there. We use the bottle, it saves time. Then the look at we smash comes out of their account. 
We sent it to the children. Clearly, they can pay for it. What do we oh. have here? A ragged diary! We Yo. shouldn't read it, though. What happens if you read it? What happens if you read it? Well, we're gonna find out. What happens if you read it? Why would you want to read it? It said not to read it. You said don't dare, don't dare, don't you dare read it. Well, I gotta see what it says. You don't need to worry about that. Save, then read it. Found the diary. Now, can't leave the post. Return the diary while he stays here. But what's written in the diary? Hmm. Well, they are really hinting that you should read the diary. They're saying that you shouldn't read the diary. Are you not reading the hints? Don't read the diary. All I see is read the diary. Read Don't the diary. Don't read the diary. Read the diary. Read the diary. Read it. Read it. Don't read, it, read, read the it, diary. Read the diary. Don't read the diary. Read the Don't diary. Don't read the diary. Read the diary. Read Don't the diary. Read the diary. Read the diary. Save your game and read the diary. Don't read the diary. Save. Read the diary. No, See what it should, says. You, you should save your game. Don't read the diary. Don't read the save your game. Don't read the diary. <laughs> save your game. <clears throat> read it. We're read gonna read it. the diary right in front of him. Yes. <laughs> you shouldn't read it. Said the end description. Read the diary? Sure, why not? What the heck? You may be cursed. Do you want to read? No, you're going to get cursed. Do you want to read it? <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be, be really, really bad. bad. Yeah, do it. And kill screen. I got on a train today, and on that train... <gasps> you! <laughs> oh, God, that's so good. Oh, Whoa! no! Oh, he just kills you. Imagine that. Yep. Well, well, we died. Paper Mario's canceled. See you never. I thought it'd be more, like, interesting than that, but nope, you just die.